Welcome to our Advent Devotions for Lancaster Lutherans Together, LLT. I'm Pastor Roger Quay, and I serve at St. Paul here in Lancaster, Ohio. And as we go out the devotions, especially this week, it'll be a time of story and promise, the story of the people of God and the promise that God continues to give us, a promise that we follow through Christmas to the Christ child and also to God's coming again at the end. Today, the question that I pose for you is, when have you seen God change a bad situation into something good? Certainly all of us have faced difficult and bad times in our lives, but we need to realize God is still there working for us for goodness. The story that we share from the scriptures today from the book of Genesis is about Joseph. Joseph, you might recall, is one of the sons of Jacob. Joseph is a storyteller and a dreamer and tells about the stories. Joseph's brothers become mad at him, and instead of killing him, they allow him to live but sell him into slavery. Joseph is a slave down in the land of Egypt and is sold to a person named Potiphar. Potiphar's wife fancies young Joseph, and, po and Potiphar's wife makes those advances, but Joseph rejects them time and time again. She becomes spurned by Joseph's rejection and tells her husband, Potiphar, about what has happened, but changes the story that Joseph is making the advances. Thus, Joseph is put into prison. As time would have it, as Joseph is in prison, also two of Pharaoh's servants, his cupbearer and baker, are sent into prison, and there they, they meet Joseph. Both of those prisoners, the cupbearer and the baker, have dreams. And Joseph, as you might recall, interprets those dreams, and they become true. The cupbearer is returned to the side of Pharaoh, and Pharaoh is troubled by several different dreams. The cupbearer remembers what Joseph did for, for him there in prison, and he tells Pharaoh, his king and his God, about Joseph. Pharaoh summons Joseph from the prison and Joseph interprets the dreams for Pharaoh. Pharaoh is much impressed with this young lad, Joseph, and has him released from prison and brings him into his court, where he makes him second in the kingdom in charge of great granaries. Yes, indeed, God is still working the story of the promise that the Israelites would have a homeland, and so the promise still continues for the people of God. It is something that we always are sometimes aware of, that God is there in our deepest, darkest moments. For indeed, that is the story of the death and resurrection of Jesus. For even there in death, in Jesus' crucifixion, and as he's buried, it seems all is lost and the promise will die. But there on Easter is the resurrection. And the promise comes true that we are God's people through Christ Jesus' death and resurrection. We may not realize it, but God is always working there for us to bring goodness where there is sorrow, greatness where there is bad things. So we rejoice in this promise that God has given us, first in the promise in the Christ child as we celebrate his birth on January 25th, but also his coming and reigning at the end of time. God indeed brings goodness out of badness. Now let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we give thanks for the gift of Jesus, your Son, and for the promise that he has given that he will always be with us. In those deep and dark times where there is sorrow and worry and wonder, we ask that you would be with us and make yourself known to us, for we know that you are a loving God and always seeking to bring goodness out of what is seemingly defeat. We, we are a people of the resurrection, and we celebrate that you are our God. Be with us now and always. For this we ask and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 